Well, today marks Jeff Bezos' final day as the CEO at Amazon. He's transitioning into the role of executive chairman starting Monday, exactly 27 years after his company was incorporated. As the world's wealthiest person, Bezos' every move is scrutinized, and it's easy to overlook that back in 1994, he was just another driven Wall Streeter with entrepreneurial dreams. That's where he got his start. He was working at a hedge fund. He learned about how quickly the internet was growing, and he wanted to jump in. Now, naysayers on social media often point out that Bezos received startup capital from his parents, who were among Amazon's earliest investors. In reality, it is a struggle to build any business, let alone one of the most successful companies in history, even if you've got a financially supportive family. And the reality is Bezos was always prepared for a worst case scenario. He told his family as such. And when it came to the odds for success, even though Bezos thought they would be low, he never outwardly presented them as a problem because he's a problem solver. He looked at the opportunity to find a way into the marketplace. Uh, Bezos in those earliest days often found himself on the floor with fellow employees packing up the newly purchased items. And he often said it was that hands-on approach early on that really helped to cement Amazon's focus on customers above everything else. This idea of obsessing over customers, we've heard it from Bezos over the years. But obviously, during the pandemic, we saw it on full display. They now have Amazon, that is, an army of 1.3 million employees around the world who went into overdrive. And because they obsess over customers, according to the research from Cantor, this was already the most valuable brand in the world. But the Amazon brand's value grew by about 64% in the last year alone. In the earliest days, though, it was about hiring not just good people, but managers who could build teams around that customer first mentality. That was always a priority. And really, it didn't take that long for Amazon to become a well oiled machine. Within five years of its founding, the company was generating more than a billion dollars in annual revenue. And you'd be hard pressed to find companies that have ever scaled that quickly. And even as they have continued on this ride, they are constantly growing, generally speaking, at well over 20% a year. It's been pretty astounding growth, obviously beyond delivering packages. They've found other businesses like their cloud business, Amazon Web Services. Of course, the new CEO of Amazon, Andy Jassy, comes from the AWS business. Along the way, they've made all sorts of big acquisitions, Whole Foods, Twitch, MGM Studios, to name a few. But these all fed into those long-term thinking plans that I mentioned that have always been a focus point of Bezos. And as he transitions out of this role, this company seems to be just lining up for continued growth. Right now on Wall Street, there's an expectation that by 2027, they could be generating more than a trillion dollars in annual revenue. 